Did you see that news clip? Leave a comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. Welcome to another episode of Clips of News, where I share with you news stories that I found, and we go over them and we just talk about the stories and the impact that it uh, possibly has on the world and our society as a whole. So today's episode, I want to share with you guys a. Uh, first, I read an article about it. Um, I can't really share the article because it um, it was a it's a paid news website. Like you have to pay for the news story, and I was only able to read it because of screenshots that were shared with me. I think I could probably share the screenshots. I'm not sure. Maybe I will be able to, or maybe I won't. But this news clip right here is good enough example of what we're about to get into. And basically, what we're talking about is Apple. Now, as uh, many people may know, I don't own any Apple products. I don't really like Apple as a company. As uh, in China, they have suicide nets on their factories because their workers literally kill themselves. They, they worked so hard, so rigorously. They have to work for so many hours to earn such little bit of pay that after a while, they, are, they, they have been known to throw themselves from the building and kill themselves. So Apple had to put up suicide nets around the building so that when people try to jump off the roof or jump out the windows, the nets would catch them. And um, so I don't really deal with Apple like that. I will say their technology is wonderful. They have great security. Their stock is a decent price. If you want to get into the stock, it, it pays dividends. It's a dividend paying stock. So that's also a, a plus on that. Uh, on that front but we're gonna get into this news clip because this is very very important this is gonna have a huge impact on our society on technology on these phone companies this is a big deal right so let's check this out now for tech column with our tech editor dan howley he's here to give us the details on apple's child abuse image scanning and how it's great technology or is it dan give us all of the details that's right, Kristen. Apple is going to be rolling this new technology out in its upcoming versions of iOS, Mac OS, Watch OS, uh, as well as iPad OS. Uh, and really what this is going to do is uh, essentially download these hashed images. Now, they're not actual images. There's uh, basically just numbers that represent images. You can't reverse engineer them into images. Uh, there's no images going on your phone. But what's going to happen is when you download this upcoming update, these numbers will appear on your phone. And what this is supposed to do uh, is match up with similar numbers uh, that correspond to uh, child sexual abuse material that Apple has uh, received from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. And the, the basic idea is if you connect to your iCloud account, uh, you, your phone will automatically start scanning on device for any matches to those numbers that match up with those images. If it shows that there's a match uh, when you're connected to iCloud, uh, it will then create this little voucher uh, on your phone and it will upload that voucher along with that photo uh, to your iCloud account. You won't know what's happening. Uh, and the idea there is to not spook any potential criminals uh, so they delete all of the, the content and can't be uh, taken care of. Uh, if there are, uh, uh, if, if it reaches a certain threshold of vouchers uh, on your account, Apple will then go into a manual review to make sure that this isn't some kind of, you know, misunderstanding or, you know, uh, there's some kind of mistake. Apple, though, says is there's one in a trillion chance uh, of that happening. So chances are it's not going to be a mistake. And then they will use that information and alert uh, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. This is all about basically taking care of that child sexual abuse material, which has exploded in recent years, uh, thanks to things like smartphones, uh, like encryption, social media, uh, and Apple is kind of taking this approach as a means to what they say is protect privacy, uh, while also ensuring that this material isn't available. But the security researchers that I've spoken to uh, have said that this is essentially like a Pandora's box, where if a uh, uh, totalitarian government authoritative regime comes in, uh, for instance, China, uh, and tells Apple to add other hashes, meaning uh, other numbers that represent things like, uh, for instance, pro-democracy pro movements, uh, LGBTQ plus 
uh, content. Uh, it would then be able to search that kind of information on users' phones and out them to the government. Now, Apple says it will not do that. It wouldn't, won't bow uh, to any government uh, for that requests that. And for now, the company is only rolling this out in the U.S. So it's not as though this is going to be an international thing. But the fear is that if it does go international, it could put people at risk who are trying to protest against uh, totalitarian regimes, uh, part of free government movements, uh, and things of that nature. So uh, this is really kind of a, you know, what's the best approach? And the researchers that I spoke to said there really isn't a best approach to this. One researcher uh, had said that, look, if maybe Apple had launched this at small scale, proved that it works, uh, then that may be worth the risk. Another said the only way really is to not provide this information to law enforcement so that the government can't get a handle on it and instead provide a warning to users. And that might not necessarily be the best way, but it's possibly the only way to ensure that there's no overreach here. So uh, it really does come down to where the priorities lie. And you know, uh, free speech advocates will say, look, this could put people in danger. Uh, others will say that it's worth it if it comes to protecting children. And again, there has been that explosion uh, of this kind of content online because of things like smartphones, uh, uh, social media, the dark web, uh, what have you. So it really is a complicated issue, uh, but Apple says that they're going to move forward with it, uh, and again, that they would not bow to any pressure from any regime. Uh, the issue, though, is, of course, their, one of their biggest regions is China, and they have had to make some concessions there, such as uh, kind of giving the keys to Apple's iCloud encryption for Chinese citizens there uh, to the government, uh, as well as not allowing virtual private network apps in the Apple Chinese App Store uh, because they don't, uh, the government doesn't want people getting around the great firewall there. And that's obviously not something that Apple would want to do, but as they say, they follow the laws of the land wherever they operate. So you heard it right there. This is a huge problem, huge problem. And again, I. It was in an article. There are more news articles that you can read about this with more detail. They are rolling it out in America first. That's still an issue. As we, as most of us know, the American politicians, at least these old ones, are all being bought by corporations. They're in the pockets of, you know, oil companies and, and fossil fuels and coal companies. You know, I mean, gun manufacturers literally buy out these people. You know what I'm saying? And so... This is a huge problem because like they're saying, like he said in the news clip, if Apple decides to bow down to these governments, let's say the American government says, hey, listen, Apple, well, we want you to block to find any pictures of protesters from the insurrection incident that occurred. If you see any pictures from protesters who did that. Uh, from from rioters, not protesters, because they weren't protesters. They're, they're actually terrorists. From those terrorists who were involved in the insurrection, then we want you to tell us and inform us. This is a huge problem. This is how we get into things like Minority Report. You know what I'm saying? With with Tom Cruise, when uh, they were trying to predict crimes. They were saying that, well, this person is going to do this thing, so we have to arrest them. This is the same thing here. Yes, I understand what they're trying to do is protect the children, so they're, you know, looking at pictures and if you got pictures of naked kids in your in your phone then they coming after you because that ain't right but let's say you got i know people who take pictures of their babies when the babies are naked or you take pictures of your you know your four-year-old running around the house with no diapers on you know what i'm saying little things like that and maybe you saved it to your iCloud. if the if the machine recognizes that as some type of child pornography you could be looking at some trouble. In my opinion, giving this type of information to the authorities is a complete no-no. That is a big no. Solid no. I am totally against that in every way, shape, and form. Now, what I am for is Apple can do this, check the pictures, review the pictures. They look at the pictures. If they have a human who determines, hey, look, this looks like some child pornography. This looks like some child trafficking. This looks like some some things that kids should definitely not be doing. They Apple can save the pictures, inform the user, hey, look, we see what you got on your phone. And, you know, you have maybe 30 days to give us an explanation of what it is that you got on your phone or else we will have to report a potential a potential risk to the police right and now the police would then take that potential risk and monitor you i'm okay with that but 
Anyhow, Apple finds stuff on somebody's phone, send it to the police, and police come kicking in people's door and arresting people and then using that as evidence in courthouse against these people to lock them up. I'm totally not for that. That's not cool. We are we are we are going down a slippery slope if we accept this as a society. It is gonna be a major, major problem i'm telling you guys ahead of time because it starts with child pornography everybody gets comfortable oh protect the kids oh protect the kids and then it becomes pictures of people who smoking weed pictures of anybody who uh, uh um who, who pictures of uh, pictures of anybody uh 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 you know in protest pictures of anybody um I don't know, fighting, pictures of people with guns, pictures of, of, of just people. Now they're scanning people's pictures to find out who this person is, who you know. Facebook already does it. Mark Zuckerberg works for, uh, I believe it's the CIA in intelligence collection. We already know that. That's why I don't use Facebook. But what I'm saying is this is a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous thing, guys, and we need to seriously pay attention because like they said in the news clip, if China decides, hey, we want to know people who are protesting, people who have pictures of protesters, you see Apple already buckled to China. You, you heard it on, on, on the news clip. Apple already decided that they're not going to let people download VPNs in China so that they could get around the Great Firewall. Apple already made that choice. Apple could have easily said, hey, we're not doing that. If people buy our phones, they're allowed to download whatever they want to download, and that's the way that it works. Which is crazy to me why Chinese people would keep buying Apple products. This goes into the next thing. How do we fight corporations? How do we fight these big businesses that are doing things or implementing things that we don't like, that we don't want, things that are dangerous for our society, dangerous for our very existence, dangerous to our privacy? How do we fight these people? One, we talk about it. We make videos. We post it on the internet. We share the news clips. We share the, the news articles. We, we spread the word so everybody knows. Two, we stop buying their products. I cannot emphasize this enough. We stop buying their products. I don't buy from Amazon. I don't do that. I will buy directly from the website. I'll buy from Etsy. I, I will spend the extra money. I will wait the two weeks, the month to get my package. But I'm not going to give Amazon, Jeff Bezos, my money. He's the richest man in the world. And he's paying people pennies, pennies. Compared to what his company makes, he's paying people pennies. Uh, unacceptable. Same thing with Apple. I'm definitely not buying no Apple phone, Apple computer. I'm not buying no type of Apple device now. Now that I see what they're doing, they're literally going to be going through people's pictures, looking for stuff, and then turn around and, and send it to the police. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know... Not only the fact that this is an invasion of our privacy, consider this. They send this information to the police. Police kick in the wrong person's door and murder the wrong person. They already do that. They already do that. Breonna Taylor is a prime example. Kicked in this lady door and killed this woman in her sleep. Come on, man. They already do that. They already going into, into the wrong houses and murdering people. So we're going to Add more reason for them to kick in people's doors? Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We fight these corporations by not buying their products. We don't buy no Apple TV. We don't buy no Apple Watch, Apple Phone, Apple Laptop. We stop shopping from them all together. We unfollow them on Twitter, unfollow them on Facebook. We literally ostracize these people from our society. We cut them off. And if they want to get us back, they have to do what we tell them to do. And what we're telling them to do is this right here, this, this scanning people's pictures, unacceptable. Unacceptable. We cannot accept this as a society, guys. This has to be something that we make up noise about. This has to be something that we fight against the corporation for. Because, again, this is just the beginning. It starts off with child pornography. It starts off with them trying to scare people. Oh, this is for the kids. Oh, we got to protect the children. No. There are other ways to protect the children. This is an invasion of privacy. So, please, guys, just... Yo, man, I'm telling you, this is a problem. 
we need to we need to pay attention so i just wanted to share this this news clip with you guys and hopefully you guys join me in my protests against apple i had been protesting apple originally because like i said in china they pay them people very little bit of money they got to work extra long hours it is so much that the people was killing themselves literally killing themselves so that's why i wasn't buying no apple products now on, on top of that, I ain't buying no Apple products because they trying to scan through people's pictures. And, and nah, man, this type of stuff make you want to go back to getting a flip phone. Get you one of them, uh, uh, one of them brick phones, you know what I'm saying, that the drug dealers used to use. Get a, get a non-smartphone because this is ridiculous, bro. Come on, man. So, with that being said, I just want to thank everybody for watching another episode of Clips of News. And uh, let's all remember, man, we all out here trying to do the same thing. Just be happy and survive. Y'all stay blessed.